Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial for featherweight XGBoost with Flower. The XGBoost has got promising performance on different machine learning tasks, especially on the tablet datasets. And today, I'm going to show you how to train an XGBoost model in federated way within Flower. Let's get started. So the first step is to uh, set up the environment. So let's first uh, activate an empty environment by this command so it's called flower tutorial okay so after that we install the requirement packages so which are three packages first is flower flower data sets and then xg Boost. Okay, it's done. Okay, now let's see the client script. So first step, we need to import all required packages. So here we go. Yeah, so that's a lot. So basically it's including the argument parsing and the data sets uh, for the data loading and partitioning and others are just for some uh, type hints. So don't worry about that. So after that, we need to define the argument parsing. Uh, so it's here. Yeah, so basically it's uh, can parse an um, argument is called node ID to the specific client to which allows uh, this client to do the training on the specific uh, data partition. Okay, so next step, we need to define uh, two functions for the data loading and partitioning. Yeah, so let's first see the First function is uh, to, to do the train test split uh, given the yeah, partition. And it's use the function from uh, the uh, Flower dataset. Uh, and yeah, the uh, train partition and test partition, and also uh, the corresponding uh, number of samples will be returned from this function. And next function um, is to transform the data for format to uh, the XGBoost D matrix format, so which is the required format to do the XGBoost uh, training. Now let's start to load the data set and do the data partitioning. So here the first step yeah, we need to define a uh, partitioner. Uh, so we, here we used uh, the Hages uh, dataset, which is a, a tablet dataset, and the task is a binary classification. And here we only use a small subset to do the demonstration uh, to speed up. And we used a federated, define a federated dataset uh, from the flower dataset. Okay, so next step is to uh, load the partitions for these specific uh, clients. So here we go. Yeah, so this we give this function a uh, node ID and load it into the partition variable and we set the format in, uh, into NumPy format. And then we do uh, the tree test splitting. So like this, as we use a, a predefined function, the uh, tree test split to do this and after that, we need to uh, reformat the, the data to uh, the D matrix 
for the active booster training. So it's like that. Yeah, we still use the redefined, the predefined function to do this for uh, the uh, training data and the test test data. So one thing we uh, should note that here we use uh, a 0 0.2 uh, as a, the test fraction value. That means we uh, have a uh, 80% for the training data and 20% for the test data. And then we need to uh, define some have parameters for the XGBoost training. So here we go. Uh, yeah, here we have the first have parameter is number of local runs, uh, which means uh, the number of training iterations for the local XGBoost. And then we have a dictionary for the parameters which will pass into uh, the XGBoost object. So uh, here we have um, the objective, the eta means the learning rate and uh, the max of uh, depth of trains. And the evaluation metrics, here we use uh, the AUC as the evaluation metric and uh, the number of uh, threads and the number of parallel trees and the subsample and also for the uh, tree method we use a histogram method okay so next is the most important step let's start to define the uh, flower client so here uh, we have a xgboost client uh, which is inherited from um, uh, the general uh, client class and after that we define two variables so the first is uh, for the XGBoost object and this, this, the other one is to store the uh, config of XGBoost and after that we will uh, define a couple of uh, methods inside of this uh, class so the first method is uh, get parameters. Uh, so we have it here is just because that um, so this function, this method will be called at the beginning of the federated training uh, by the Flower uh, server, which is used to uh, initialize the uh, model parameters. But here, uh, for the f uh, XG boost, we actually don't need to uh, use this function to do the uh, initialization. So here we just uh, uh, return an empty uh, tensor and uh, just keep it empty. Yeah. So next, let's define the fit method. So the training will happen inside of this method. So it looks like this. That's just. Uh, Go through line by line to see what's happening inside of this method. So first, uh, as you remember, we have the self.psd variable at the beginning. It's uh, is known. So uh, if it's known, we will this will uh, trigger the first round of local training. So in this here, we will call the xgboost.train to start the training. And after it is finished, the local training, we will uh, save the config into self.config and as well as the uh, uh, XGBoost object uh, saved is into self.bst. Uh, so if it's not uh, the first round, uh, so here, uh, we will uh, use the global model that uh, so, uh, sent from the server to uh, to, uh, to initialize the local model. So we first uh, load the global model and uh, pass it into uh, the self.sbt and uh, also uh, for the config, we will yeah, load the con config as well. And then we will call another function, it's called local boost. We will update um, the local trees based on the uh, based on the local data. So we will see the details later. But so it's up after all the training finished, we will um, transform 
the uh, BST, uh, the bo uh, the uh, XEBoost object uh, into the JSON file, and after that we transform it into the bytes format, and then we uh, pass it to the uh, return format, uh, the tensor variable here, and the, after that this will uh, send back to uh, the server to do uh, the aggregation. Now let's take a look to uh, the local booster function. So here, here is the local booster function. The first we uh, do the local training by calling uh, the xbooks dot update function uh, to train it for uh, a predefined number of local runs. And then in this example, we just use one round. And after that, we extract um, the last n and trace here at the n equal to number of local runs. Um, the, after that, we yeah, um, send the trace to the server for aggregation. The next step is to define the evaluation method to these clients. So let's take a look. Uh, yeah, here is the evaluation met, uh, method. So first, yeah, here we uh, call the XGBoost evaluation function by parsing the validated data set into it. And after that, we uh, report the AUC value as an uh, evaluation metric. And then we just pass the evaluation, uh, the AUC value into the return matrix uh, dictionary. Okay, great. We have everything needed for the actually boost uh, clients. So for the next step, we just need to uh, do one line comment to uh, start uh, uh, the actually boost client. So yeah, here uh, we just use the uh, uh, flower start client function and pass uh, the local address here to start the client. Of course, you can change the server address to the real address when you're doing the realistic fidelity learning. Okay, now let's switch to the server side. Uh, so first, we need to uh, import and require uh, packages. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So there's only two packages. The first is the flower and the other is the bagging strategy. So we will look into the details later for this strategy. But now let's just focus on the uh, server script. Uh, so for the next step, we need to uh, define some of the hyperparameters for the uh, federated uh, experiments. So yeah, here we go. So there's uh, four parameters. So one is the, uh, the pool size. That means the total number of clients. And the second one is a uh, number of FR runs. And the third one is the number of clients uh, per runs to join the training. And the last one is the number of clients to do the evaluation. In this example, we just have two clients uh, for the demonstration. So the next step is to define uh, uh, the med a uh, function uh, uh, to collect the evaluation metrics and aggregate them together. So here we use uh, the AUC as the evaluation metric and uh, we're just uh, doing um, uh, the weighted average over different clients and the retained average AUC value at the end. And then we need to uh, define uh, the strategy. So here we use the bagging strategy and we just need to uh, parse all the hyperparameters into this uh, strategy class. And the final step is to start a server. And we just call the flower start server function to start it. And yeah, that's it for the server side. Okay, now let's see how XGBoost bagging strategy works. Uh, so here is the, the bagging strategy function uh, class uh, from the core framework of uh, Flower package. So basically it is uh, inherited from the Fed average strategy. And the core thing uh, here, we overwrite the aggregate fit uh, method. So here, instead of using Fed average to do the aggregation, uh, we do the bagging strategy here for aggregation. 
um, yeah, so using this aggregate function. So let's take a look to this function. Uh, so here the class uh, client model are just trees. So in this function, the first step we need to uh, fetch the uh, tree information from both the previous tree and the current tree uh, using this function. Uh, so basically here it's just a return the tree number and um, number of um, parallel uh, trees. And after that, uh, it just uh, uh, aggregates here, these lines aggregate um, all the information together as well as uh, the tree widths. And after that, uh, the tree ensemble will be returned as a new global model. So this is the basic idea of the, uh, the backing strategy. Okay, now it's time to run the experiments. So let's first use the terminal to uh, start the server and use the other to start the uh, clients and we need to pass the node ID here equal to zero yeah, it's running and at the same time we can start the other one clients node ID to one okay yeah so it's only five FL rounds is finished quite quick so we can check the result here uh, the metric distributed it shows the AUC value over the uh, FL rounds and you can see the numbers is going up over the rounds so it's working uh, yeah, so this is a very simple example, but feel free to explore more interesting experiments by yourself. This is everything for this Quick Start Federated XGBoost tutorial. If you like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more useful and interesting tutorials. And the last thing, please don't forget to give a star on our GitHub. That's everything. See you guys.